How's it going, Ram fans? We really hope you enjoyed the break. This week, to close out the night, we're bringing back an old favorite from all the way back to last fall. That's right, Hot or Not finally makes its return, where tonight we'll split off into two teams to decide whether or not our takes about Denver sports are hot or, well, not, as the name very well implies. So, Mike and Taylor, for us tonight, it's all about if we think it's time to ride with Russell Wilson this year for the Broncos, or if this new marriage at the, new, at the hip won't result in much. So, what do you think? I don't think it's really hot. I think this is obvious. We're getting a great quarterback coming over to our team. I, don't, I think we're going to have very minimal struggles easing him into it. So I think it's a great thing. I couldn't agree more. I think he's exactly what Denver needs right now and what Colorado needs in sports for sure. Now, I'm not a Broncos fan. I know you two are, but I am a fan of watching the Chiefs lose. <laughs> and I think that's exactly what Russell Wilson can do for the Broncos. I think they paid him way too much money, but that's all that professional sports are about now. So if that money gets the Broncos back to the Super Bowl or even back to the playoffs, I think that's a win. I'll I think it's, it's a little bit of a risk taking a quarterback at that age. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've seen people like Tom Brady and Matt Stafford do it at older ages. Clearly, Matt Stafford just won the Super Bowl yeah. at an older age. So I, I think Russell Wilson can do it. I think personally he can. I mean, 11th season, it is a stretch a little bit. You know, you risk your higher injury and yeah. everything. And once you get hurt at that point, it's really, really hard to come back. But he definitely stacks up against those big dogs. He's fourth for passing yards against Aaron Rodgers, Man Manning, and, and Tom Brady. Yeah. So he stacks up there. Yeah. Well, and... Although he's older, that experience may come in super handy yeah. if he's coming into those playoff games and maybe the Super Bowl. So I think that'll benefit us for sure. I think the leadership's big. When you got a quarterback that can lead, we didn't really have that the last few years. Mm -hmm. You get a quarterback that can lead and knows how to lead a team, it really can change things. I know, absolutely. The Broncos were lacking that one person to kind of take charge and take him into that playoffs. Yeah. You know, the, they haven't been in the postseason since they won that Super Bowl. <laughs> so if they can make yeah. it again, who knows? Maybe they'll go all the way this year. Yeah. I'm hoping for the so. best. I mean, Maybe we'll see him in the postseason. The Packers can take him, but chances aren't very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am excited to get a football game, go to one, and maybe I'll finally end up in Mile High without being rooting for CSU and not <laughs> Boulder. Right, if things don't work out for the Rams this year, hopefully Denver sports will be able to carry football a little bit. I just want to yeah. watch a fun football game where I'm not sad about who, my team losing so exactly. bad. Like, I don't want to get crushed every time I turn on a football game. Exactly. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the CSU football team is not <laughs> proven much here. so <laughs> We are a basketball school. Yeah, they can beat it easily. So if Denver can be a football city, I think CSU can be a basketball school. That's yeah. a pretty good sport. I couldn't team. agree more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And okay, I know we can talk about the NFL for hours, but now let's get over to Madeline and Ruby so they can break down some MLB headlines for us. Take it away, Ruby. So we want to talk about Albert Pujols, hot topic here. He's going on trying to break the 700 home run club, which only three other people three. are a part of, yeah. including Babe Ruth, Barry Bonds, Hank Aaron. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's a pretty big club to be a part two of. Two out of the three are Hall of Famers, and Barry Bonds is arguably a Hall of Famer, but there's all the controversy around that, so, but, you know. I don't know about you, but I kind of forgot about Albert Pujols for a few years. There was, like, a little stint there where I was, like, I didn't, I mean, he was, I'm a Dodger fan, he was on the Dodgers, did a great job, but besides that, like, I didn't, he kind of went dead for a while there. I mean, it didn't help he was on the Angels for a, a good long while, <laughs> and the Angels, I mean, you know. Obviously, the Angels are always in headlines. They have Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. I mean, you know, in my personal opinion, <laughs> this now this is a hot topic. Shohei Otani is the best baseball player of all time. That I, is a hot topic. <laughs> I, I, I truly believe it. But I, my question is, do you think he's going to make it to 700? He's five away. He's at 695 right now. 28 games left for the Cardinals. I think he can do it. He's hit 16 home runs in the last 84 games, which is crazy. He's at 695 right now, like you just said. And this, he's having the best offensive year that he's had in a decade. So I feel like he's got the momentum. I feel like he's got the hype. People are getting ready for it. I feel like he has to do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it'll, if he does, that's just like a crazy milestone. Because yes. the next active player on the list of most home runs of all time is Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera only has 506. So he has, Albert Pujols has almost 200 more home runs than Miguel Cabrera. So this is, it, it, I mean, what he's doing is phenomenal. I mean, only players ever. I just hope it doesn't happen where he gets really close. Do you think he'll reconsider his retirement? No. 
I don't. I don't think. I don't think seven hundred is quite. It's quite enough to reconsider his retirement. I but I. <laughs> It'll definitely be interesting and fun to see it happen. I want to see it happen. Yes. I want to see it happen, but whether or not it will, it depends. I mean, you know, baseball's always up and down. Yep. It's a game of highs and slumps. Yeah, so. you never know. And now that these pitchers know that he's going for this milestone, that puts a little pressure on their back. Yeah. I mean, if I was a pitcher, I'd be like, he's not getting it on me. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But the next topic I wanted to dig deep into is who do you think is going to win the NL East? I don't it's know, a close I feel, race. I feel like the Mets have it, but it's a close one. It's the Mets or the Braves, They've, and they're in this little battle. It's like 85 wins to 84 wins right yeah. now. They've got it close, but I don't know. What do you think? I, I think the Braves can do it. Yeah. I think the Braves have got. I think the Braves are a little f more fiery than the Mets, in my opinion. I mean, I the Mets obviously they have they have incredible. They had an incredible season. They have like incredible stuff going on. You know. I will have to say that Edwin Diaz walk up, that is the best thing in baseball right now. That <laughs> is unbelievable. It gets I every time I see the video of it, it just it just <laughs> gives me chills. I think it's so cool and how just the fans get so into it. But I I think the Braves, I think the Braves want it. Yeah. I think they want it more, in my opinion, to me it looks like they almost want it more than the Mets. Right. And so it's gonna it's gonna we're gonna have to see. But I will say Statistically, the Mets have, out of the entire MLB, they have the easiest schedule left. Yeah. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see. The Braves are only one game behind, so right. it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a Dodgers San Francisco Giants deal last year. It's gonna come down to the wire. Right. And there's no, they're not doing like they did in 2018 where they did a game 163. They're just saying, at, just cutting it at 162. So it's gonna right. it's gonna be interesting. And then you got the whole wild card race. I know we got three now instead yeah. of two, and it's close. And one of those teams is gonna get the wild card. Whoever doesn't win, right? Yes, and yes, so because they're both the Braves and the Mets are so far ahead in the wild card race that there's not one of those teams is gonna get it. But yes. then we got the Phillies. We got the Phillies getting up in the wild card. Yep, they're, they're inching up. They're inching yeah, up. Yeah, they're there. inching yep. up. And I personally, I am a proud hater of the San Diego Padres. I am a part of that club as well. We, we bond over our <laughs> for so Manny Machado and the Padres. <laughs> and so I would love to see the Phillies push out the Padres. Yes. That would be, that would literally be my dream. And then we have trail. the Brewers also in the mix. Yeah, there. I know. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Anyway, I know you want to talk about the Little League World Series. The Little League World Series. Who else is a Little League World Series fan? Because I know I just live for the Little League World Series every year. And Hawaii had a great year this year. You watch, it was strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. The pitching was crazy. They barely let any runs score against them. They had a, they outscored their opponents 60-5 to five over, over their six games, which is just wild. And how can you not love the Little League World Series? I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's going to be abs it, it was It was absolutely great. Yeah, I loved watching the final because it was 13 to three in the end. But the first two hitters, the one and two hitters in the first inning, back to back home runs. Like, what's more exciting than I that? Know. And like, how often do you see that in a baseball game? So of course, the other team had to make a little pitching change, see how it went. But I mean, it was super exciting, super happy for Hawaii. This is the fourth time they've won since 2005, and so they're definitely a dominant Little League World Series team. And I'll be excited to see what those kids get to do in the future. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, that is all the time that we have for you guys tonight. I hope that you enjoyed this Tuesday Night Sports. I hope you enjoyed bringing Hot or Not back. Stay safe, Rams, and we will see you all next week. I wasn't on. Yeah, they didn't really make it.